family home destroyed by fire. Tonight, the family is sharing their memories with 7 Action News reporter Brian Abel, and he joins us live tonight in Flat Rock with a look at what's left of this home. Brian. Well, this is what's left of the garage. Chuck Smalley, he said he parked his mower. He left to go grab the mail. Then a neighbor got his attention. To understand the significance of this, we need to first go back in time. We came together in the summer of 48. It didn't take long for Chuck Smalley to know Mary was the one. While away serving in the military. I wrote her letters from there and so forth and come back and within a short time after that I asked her if she would be my wife you'll know, marry me yeah, yeah. then she picked January 29th for a wedding day my dad for a wedding present he gave us that acre and a half lot we built that in the uh, first year of our marriage we finished the inside ourselves made alterations to the blueprint it sounds like your prince built you a castle yeah, <laughs> it was nice. And inside this flat rock home, Chuck and Mary Smalley lived for the past 70 years. We got six children, 13 grandchildren, and we have 15 great. Wednesday afternoon would end that seven decade occupancy as Chuck went to grab the mail. Neighbor across the street said, you got a fire. And I was reading a part of the mail that I got and I looked up and there was these flames in the back of the garage coming up, you know, like, looked like a torch. I felt real bad because of all the work we had put in it. And it was our house. We didn't have a lot of money, but we came through it. A police officer got 91-year-old Mary out. The home appears to be a complete loss, but 95-year-old Chuck steadfast that this was part of a bigger plan. As believers, we don't, we believe God has a hand and a purpose in it. Through it all, we will be blessed some way out of it. Now, Chuck says that the working theory is that somehow the lawnmower created all of this. Now, the good news is that they were able to go inside. They, they did have full coverage and able to get those important memories like pictures and documents out. But they are without essentials tonight, so the family has set up a fundraising page. The information for that on our website, WXYZ.com. Reporting live tonight, Brian Abel, 7 Action News. Brian, thank you very much.